world champs, Champagne, Switzerland. So in 2007 was the first year we were here. Yeah, I kind of shocked everybody and set a new um, perception, I would say, of what people thought of downhill mountain bikes and what we could do and where the sport was going, you know? Yeah, I mean, you take a lift up and it really puts in perspective how steep it actually is because you, you are coming over cliff faces pretty much and to think that we ride our bikes down is a, a crazy prospect. You let off the brakes and you're instantly going at 100 miles an hour. It's definitely a unique course, challenging steep. There's not a whole lot that you need to do in order to get up to race pace other than just get off your brakes and commit to everything. So World Cup season's over this year and I think I really, to be honest, have no expectations on myself or anything other than just to be here and have fun. And I enjoy riding this course. Um, you know, when it's, when it's working with you, it's actually a lot of fun. So hopefully I'm just going to keep it that way and stay loose, have some fun this weekend. It's rained every year here, so um, I think we can expect a little moisture, something wild to happen. We'll see. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Threw some flat pedals on yesterday and just decided to leave them on. You know, I think you can go pretty good on both, and maybe I can put like a safer run together with flats. You know, if you're going to dab and stuff. So it's funny for me to be riding flats, but uh, it's cool. It's good to be up there and striking distance, and then see what uh, rain shit show comes on Sunday. You want to commit, but as soon as you commit, it sometimes you go too fast for the next section. So you've really got to be smart about it. It's a, it's a, it's a tough one to race. Well, coming into Chantry after Val de Sol, I had a good race at Val de Sol, and uh, yeah, getting second behind Gwyn, it was really close. So I was on, I was feeling strong coming into Chantry, and I knew it's a track that I liked, rain or shine. And I love the track. It's one of the best tracks of the year. I don't see why we can't. Try and go on that top step. You know, I told him at the beginning of the season, and I told him again two weeks ago and last week, like the two tracks that he has the best shot at this season are Val de Sol and, and Champry. I think it's between him and three, four other guys for the win. It's pretty cool to be here and having a guy that's at the top that has a really good shot, you know, provides everybody a lot of energy and motivation to be here. So. I think he's probably more nervous than a normal weekend, but. It's not a normal weekend. So he's, he's treating this as a proper practice for Sunday. So we're going through everything as if it was race day, regardless of you know what, what it is today. So we're going through everything as normal. World, isn't it? It's shit or bus if you Yeah, so just want to go up there, put a good run down and try and get that win. Roll of the dice now, like survival, clean, like a no crash run is probably going to be easy in the top 10. So, you know, if you have solid run, I don't even know what to think. I'm like, it's kind of sucks. I want to hike up and check some of the lines because people are kind of skidding and some hop lines I want to do, but kind of like safety is probably going to prevail, you know. I've had no expectations the whole week because I knew it could end like this and you just got to go out with an open mind. Duncan Ripple, on course for the USA, two-time US champion event, and Spitty. And you can see how slick it's getting, how rutty. Close corners are getting back onto the gas for Duncan Ripple into the jumps. South Africa into the four cross track, down to the finish, onto the tunnel, four and eight, four and one for Nidos, in 17th place for Nidos. He said, 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 he possible and just to see how I've gotten on against everybody else and to count the line of the 11 seconds up was just something else I'd never expected that, I'd never seen that all for the past five years so 
Maggie just looked so composed top to bottom, it was just insane. I mean, to me, he didn't even look like he got loose today. He knew what he was doing. And... I just don't know what to say, it's just amazing. <laughs> to have rainbows, it's, it's, I couldn't get them as a junior, but to get them as a senior, I mean, it took people so long to do it, and I've done it second time. What can I say? 